Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Kelly. Um, I thought I'd do my revert video now just so that it's out of the way so people can just look back to it and see, you know, how I reverted, why I reverted. Um, I'll start off by saying revert means convert. It's the same thing if anyone's confused. Revert means that you're going back to it because in Islam everyone's born Muslim, they're born innocent, they're born pure. We're not born like, as a mistake, you know, we're not born with a sin. Um, like Christians say, um, you know, everyone is born like a clean slate. Um, so I say revert because I'm going back to that state. Uh, and that's all that it means. Um, okay, so I was raised Christian, as I said in my previous video. Um, I, we went to church, we um, we went to Sundays, I went to Sunday school, um, me and my brothers. Um, I had a normal family life. I had a mum, a dad, three brothers, um, and things were pretty normal. <laughs> um, we weren't like you know the most privileged family of them all, but um, you know I think we had a pretty normal life. Um, my parents divorced when I was eight, um, and I went to live with my mum here, and that's when things sort of started getting a bit weird. Um, I, because everyone else sort of left Christianity, the whole, my whole family, they just sort of left Christianity. And I didn't. I sort of wanted to keep going to church. So I'd get my mum to drop me off at church by myself. And I'd sit through the service listening, learning things, um, and then she'd pick me up. <laughs> Um, when I got to about the age of 13, I started to rebel a bit, um, and I sort of pretty much lost my religion. I didn't, I'd tell everyone I was Christian, but I wasn't Christian. I didn't do anything Christian-like. <laughs> when I was 16, um, oh, when I was 15 and a half, I moved out, well, almost 16, I moved out, um, on my own, because I felt like my mum and her new partner had their life and I wasn't really involved in that. They had a daughter and I was sort of an add-on. My brother had already moved out and I felt like I didn't belong in their family. So I moved out. Um, my mum helped me move out, which is kind of weird. <laughs> um, she, she didn't stop me from moving out at all, which I look back now and I think it's kind of sad, but I don't know. I mean, I was happier on my own. So, yeah. Um, I started modeling when I was 16, exactly 16, um, and they, they kept telling me, you know, oh, you're going to, you know, go to Milan, you're going to do this, but all you have to do is wear a bikini and lose four inches off your butt. And I was like, at the beginning, I was like, yeah, yeah, I can do that, I can do that. When they started saying that I was sort of overweight and that I needed to lose weight um, to continue on as a model, I thought like something's wrong. Um, and I remember my last audition, or my, my last you know interview as a model, um, I remember going in there and there were about 20 other girls in there and I just remember thinking like these girls have not eaten anything in a long time, like they are really skinny and they're t going on about it saying you know salads and you know you shouldn't eat there and you should eat this and it's like all I was thinking is I just ate Dunkin Donuts and now I'm here I was like I do not belong here I want to go home <laughs> um, and so obviously I didn't get that job <laughs> because there were a whole lot of skinny minis around me so I quit modeling I don't think it was because of Islam I think it was just more, more of me as a woman knowing my limit um, because there was no limit with modeling, you know, people, models will do anything. Like, they will take off all their clothes, they will say anything, they'll be anyone. Um, they'll starve themselves just to look good, just to have that one photo shoot, you know. And I just thought, like, there's more to life than that. <laughs> so I said my shahada quietly, not like a big gathering, because I thought, I didn't want a whole lot of strangers there, like, for like, a big thing in my life. Um, not by myself, with another person, but I, I didn't want a whole lot of people there. Um, my parents did not support me being Muslim, they still don't really. My mum puts up with it, 
sometimes <laughs> she um, sometimes goes out of her way to like sort of put me down. She tells her, like, if she sees someone that we used to know that didn't know I was Muslim, she wants to tell them I'm Muslim to get a reaction out of them, to, for them to laugh or for them to say something insulting or something. When I was in my last year of high school, actually I had a one more year, but I left after that year, <laughs> um, I met some new friends. I made new friends in that year because I saw that my old friends were like, going downhill a bit. Um, they'd been partying and not studying and like that. And so their life was leading nowhere and I didn't really want to be a part of that. Um, so I made new friends. Um, a few of them were Muslim. I didn't know that. I didn't you know, become friends with them because they were Muslim. They were just Muslim. Um, guys and girls, not just one. Um, and I remember asking one time, I was texting my friend and he said, can't text, I'm at mosque. And I was like, it's this magical place you can't text in. And he, he didn't, like, you know, try and convert me in the text. He, he just said, I'm a mosque, can't text. And I just thought it was, like, it was so opposite to what you hear about Muslims on, like, TV. Because I, I grew up in, like, New Zealand, it's a Western country. Um, and I automatically had this, I had this negative view on Muslims. And I was so wrong. I thought they were all you know, bad people. I thought they all, you know, hated everyone, but they they really don't, you know. And I liked how when Muslims talk to each other, it's like, salam brother, salam sister. It's it's really nice. I like that. It's like respect in Islam. And you don't see that in anything else. Um, and I looked more into it. I kept looking into it and, you know, I had some ups and downs, you know. Some days you wake up and you're like, that's a dumb culture, a dumb religion. And you're like, I don't want to do that. And then other days you wake up and you're like, why did I think that? Like, it's just like, sometimes it's too much change. You think, you know, this is happening too fast. You know, I, I want to wear shorts. I want to wear my hair down and show off and like, but you do change, like, I've changed, I've accepted myself, and I like this so much better than what I was before. <laughs> um, I started wearing the hijab a year ago, but, yeah, I always found it sort of hard, I still do a bit, um, how I wake up in the morning, I sort of have to tell myself that I'm Muslim. I don't wake up and just know it. Like, I have to remind myself. Like, if I see myself in the mirror without a hijab on, I don't automatically think I'm Muslim. If I almost have to wear this to tell myself that I'm Muslim, and I don't know when that's going to go away, but I hope it does. Um, born Muslims, do you guys wake up and know that you're Muslim? Like, you can comment below. I actually don't know. Do you, do you wake up and you just know it? I don't know. Because... <laughs> um, I want that. I want to wake up and know that I'm Muslim instead of telling myself that I'm Muslim. My dad hates it. Like, every time I see him, I hardly see him now because it's just, it got so hard. Every time I see him, he always reminds me that I'm going to hell. Um, he's always telling me, you know, that unless I do it this way, I'm going to hell. Um, he's Christian, but he's his own Christian. He's not Baptist. He's not anything like that. Um, he doesn't go to church. He reads a book that tells him how to read the Bible. Which I don't think is a good way because, I mean, some guy wrote that book on how to read the Bible. Like, that's just that guy's interpretation. Um, and that's what I like about the Quran because it's just one way. You know, Muslims believe the same thing. They, they don't sort of interpret it differently. Well, some do, but I mean, it's, you know, you read the Quran and that's what it is. It is what it says. And that's what I like. I can't really think of anything else to say right now about my reversion, revert story, convert story, whatever you want to call it. Kelly reverting to Islam. Um, but if you guys have any questions, leave them below and I could make like a to be continued or part two or something like that. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, sorry about the background as well. That's my university planner. And I can't move further that way because my cat is sitting there, sleeping, take out my whole bed. Um, anyway, so I'll make another video soon, inshallah, and um, see you later. Salam